He did his part serving the community. So I like to think that um, we can cherish his memory, cherish his legacy, and see it live on in the lives of these other of these young firefighters. A local foundation is holding its third annual fundraiser aimed at raising money to send aspiring firefighters to the academy while honoring the legacy of a fallen firefighter. 25 News reporter Jarrell Baker has more. Brave, kind, and proud to serve. That's what you hear when you ask anyone about Jose Negrete. There's a lot of people that have come up to us in these events and talked to us about how my brother was a uh, 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 helped them out. They were going through a tough time. Gabe says it's these qualities that helped his brother Jose excel as a firefighter and a paramedic with the Compass Co. Fire Department. It was the perfect calling for him because it's you, you like to think like, oh, firefighters got to be tough, they got to be strong, but they also got to be very empathetic. Jose served for more than four years until he died in July of 2020. He had uh, non Hodgkin's lymphoma, Birkin's uh, non Hodgkin's lymphoma. And immediately stage four, um, he fought it as hard as he could. Uh, and it was tough because uh, it was during COVID. His family took their grief and turned it into something positive, honoring Jose's legacy. They took what he loved, which was being a firefighter. And um, every year we, we, we do fundraising. The community gives us donations or gives us items to auction off. So we have and then we have a lot of people coming and volunteering. The Negrete Firefighter Foundation annual fundraising event also has a mariachi band, food trucks, and more. All the money raised goes to scholarships for the fire academy. Not everybody has, you know, five thousand dollars just laying around, you know. And the, this is in this is a service to the community, you know. These are people that save lives. So if anybody deserves the opportunity to serve the community. It's, it is these first responders that we that we uh, that we give these scholarships to. In Compass Cove, Jarrell Baker, 25 News.